What is up, Madden 25 Gamers? In today's play of the day, we're going to be breaking down the shotgun uh, shotgun bunch, and we're going to be breaking down the play uh, uh, Close Mesh. Uh, excuse me, Close Mesh. Close Mesh. Uh, but we want to come out in Z Spot, and we're going to talk about that in just a moment. Uh, but we want to come out in uh, Z Spot, and I guess we only have... From the Arizona playbook, do we have the regular? Yeah, we do. Okay, so we're going to come out in the regular disease spot, but uh, we're going to be running the close mesh, which is why uh, we want to have that close mess mesh in our quick audibles. Okay, so here we should have it. Of course I don't. Of course. Well, if you don't have it in your quicks or if you're in like a franchise, um, you can come out in the close mesh. Um, so here, watch. We're going to come out in the close, close mesh, and we want to run it flipped. Um... What we're going to do is we're going to audible. We're going to audible to uh, the Z spot. Or, for example, if you just have a random book, you want to audible to the like the PA post if you can't set audibles. But then we're going to reset our play. And as soon as we reset our play, we want to streak Jordy Nelson. So here you see you're going to streak him. And you see we see how the defender is going to come inside like that. That's a really uh, little, little pro tip we talked about a couple of videos ago. Now we're going to use basically the same concepts. We're just going to use it from the mesh formation. So uh, we're going to smart route in round Jer Jermichael Finley here. And we're basically going to create a levels concept with him. And then now since we have Jordy Nelson unbumpable, but they have a, if they don't have a safety over top, we're going to leave him on that streak. But now that they do have a safety over top, we're going to put him on a smart routed out route. And he's going to actually be our first read. And you see against two men under, he's going to kill them against that out route. Okay, so that's kind of the, the method that we're using here. And I, again, if you don't have audibles, you, you're just going to audible to like a PA post play. But you're going to reset the play, then put him on a streak. Then you want to progress to make your adjustments. Now what you see is your opponent will have to move this guy back over here. He will have to do it. But even if he does it, that out route is still going to do a good job at beating man coverage. It's still a man beater. So I just wanted to kind of at least talk about that a little bit. Now I want to show you... Uh, what happens if they're in like a cover two uh, zone and say they do base align because if they base align they're already going to be out there you see that and so we're going to reset and then we're going to put him on the adjustments but now you see they're still in that alignment so we're still just going to run our play and uh, now we're going to work the levels concept since it's a cover two and you see that little drag to Randall Cobb is very effective against the cover uh, two defense so uh, you see how all these routes are going to work off each other. Now, another thing that we have uh, the potential to do, and I completely screwed up the play here, but let's go back and let's take a look at another combina route combination we can use with this mesh play. So you see we have the flat route and we have a corner route. So we can take Cobb now and we can put him on a smart routed hitch route. And now it's going to be a very good passing concept. Uh, and we can put maybe Jordy Nelson on, a, on an in route. And you just see a countless of different things you can do, but against man coverage, this is even more effective because you see now Randall Cobb is going to do a good job at sitting down against man coverage. Okay, so just a lot you can do with this, but it all stems from getting that that little uh, little glitch there uh, in the game and using it to your advantage. Uh, but you see, this corner out from Mesh does a really good job of beating man, so that's another good good trait. Um, and then even another thing that you could do with this is we're just going to kind of keep, I want to keep just talking about things you could do, uh, but you could really run this play all game. Uh, but what we like to do also is we could maybe put, like say, Cobb on a smart routed hitch route, maybe put Jermichael Finley on a drag route. We're going to motion him. Oh, wait, sorry. Uh, put Jermichael Finley on the smart routed uh, hook route, and then we'll take Cobb, keep him on that drag, motion him out, and then just snap it. And you see it gives us just a little bit more spacing. Uh, and you see how the corner out provides that natural pick and rub to beat man-to-man -man coverage. So just a lot you can do from this play. Um, and then, but then even more so, so now they're going to start trying to adjust to the curl route. And they're starting to kind of forget about the route to Jordy Nelson that we could potentially put him on a streak. And if we do, and I mean you will see this a lot, especially with, if they start trying to blitz, you'll have a lot of easy touchdowns like that. Um, I haven't spent a whole lot of time talking about how effective that is, but uh, it is effective. Trust me. Um, let's see what happens on a slant. I haven't actually done this before. Put him on a slant. He still kind of stays with him. Uh, probably mainly because he has the inside position. But 
Anyway, I just wanted to talk a little bit about the play. Um, like I said, you you want to use the close mesh, uh, and you definitely want to. You can, and again, you can combo it uh, with Z Spot, and you can combo some hot routes here, make it more of a zone beater than it is a man beater, but it could still beat man. It's just a really effective play, and uh, something I really like to use to beat man and zone in man 25. So thanks for watching. If you found this video beneficial, leave a like rating below. If you didn't, let me know what I can do to improve it. And I uh, just want to say thanks for your time once again, and we'll see you guys later.